What's up, guys? It's Woo. your boys, Juice and Jin, and we are back yeah, at it again. Yeah, buddy. And today is a very special episode. Very special. If you hadn't seen on Friday, what, what happened Friday night? Logan Paul opened up a first edition base set box. booster box. And he had sold packs for $11,000. $111. Woo. And he sold out all of the packs. <laughs> and he opened them all. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> So we thought, oh, why don't we open our packs? Yeah. <laughs> so I've had this in my collection for a bit. It's a first edition uh, base set pack. Uh, obviously, this one weighs light, so it was a collection piece. But, you know, with the recent prices in, in the base set and how the prices of the cards in the base set have been going up. Right. I wondered to myself, what kind of value can you expect when you open a first edition base set pack yep like you know when the cards weren't that expensive even the commons and uncommons it really wasn't worth it unless it was a heavy where you can yep. guarantee to pull a hollow yep but with how the prices have gone and how these pack prices are now some of the commons and uncommons are up there in price I mean, you, you can get the yellow cheeks Pikachu, red cheeks potentially yeah. the red cheeks. Those are three, four thousand dollar cards. Any of the starters? So Bulbas <laughs> <laughs> Bulbasaur as a PSA ten is only a five thousand, yeah, four three, to five thousand yeah, dollar card, like thirty five hundred to five thousand dollars. Right, not um, the thirty thousand. Hey, by the way, and I think uh, there was some miscommunication there. Uh, well, I I still don't think it's thirty grand, whatever it was quoted. <laughs> But I think they were trying to get the price of the black label BGS 10 um, because a pristine 10 is not $30,000 either. Yeah. I don't know yeah. what a black label would be, but there's no way in heck that a Bulbasaur is $30,000. Yep. All right. Are you ready? Yep. Are you ready to make history? I, so also, another this crazy thing. thing of... I, I just want to say one thing. Yeah. Top loaders are a no-no. You, you use card savers and you use penny sleeves. And you put the penny sleeve on the card and you put them in top loaders. I mean, card savers. Never use top loaders. Never yeah. ever use top loaders. Especially when you're... On Pokemon cards. Especially when you're shipping anything oh, or... Oh. We're starting out good. Is it Pikachu? No. It's oh my Paul's. goodness, a Squirtle. It's Logan Paul's favorite Pokemon. Oh, and it's a thick stamp. Is it? Yeah. I always have a hard time tell. So if it was a thin stamp, it would be a little bit thinner than that. Um, that's a thick stamp. Good. Good to know. It's a thick stamp. So wow. we have a Squirtle. So this as a PSA 10. What's the centering look like? Is it a 9? Uh, centering? Yeah, maybe. Oh, hold on. I'm going to say maybe. Looks a little, little to the left. So I'll have the prices up what a PSA 10 last sold of these cards are up on the video right here yep there you go but we are gonna sleeve all these and we are gonna put them in card savers for everyone right so even next energy, one is a fire energy oh, i'm is sorry fire energy i'm sorry <laughs> you can put the fire <laughs> energy next to you that's a couple hundred bucks but and we got a pikachu <laughs> Holy smokes. What a pack so far. We are starting out with a Pikachu. The Yellow Cheeks Pikachu. The centering uh, is a little off, but still, it's not too bad. As a nine, this sold for... Wow. Oh my goodness, this pack <laughs> is absolute fire, fire so far. The problem is with these cards right now is they're a little bit shifted. Yeah, this one is, as you can tell, the bottom... It's a lot thinner than the top. And this is the risk you take. You're not guaranteed tens. Yep. So these, at most, right now, the, the, the first two nine. cards are nines, which I'll also put the, the nine equivalent on there too. But wow, we got a Bulbasaur in the next. So we got three of the top cards you can get from, uh, from commons. And so you can tell this is probably from the same print run because again, yeah. you're running into the same issues. It's thinner down here thicker on top so most likely psa 9 candidates and psa 9 prices i think they drop a pretty decent amount but, mm -hmm. uh, to like maybe a thousand bucks but again this is the risk we we wanted to take and see the drowsy 
Oh, this is definitely a, not a $30,000 Bulbasaur. And also with the Bulbasaur, it's a mass print run error. And let me put this in the card saver first. The link link there. But they're all link link. You're never gonna you're never gonna find a Bulbasaur with first edition that is not a link the length. They didn't fix it until the base set so, print run yep. of unlimited. So instead of weight, it says length, and yeah. it's a common it's common, common error. So it's, it's not. It's a mass print error. So every single card has it. Every single card has it. And we have the Leaf Energy, which I think even energies are. Uh... Yeah, we're still gonna sleeve those energies and get them graded if they're tens. If they're not tens, because they're only a couple hundred bucks as tens. Yeah. All Unless you're one of those like complete freaks like I am, and you want to complete the nine set. Actually, this tens. might get a ten. Yeah, we have an Onyx. An Onyx. And the lovely rare is a B drill. Is a B drill, which we assumed that this pack was light because yeah. it was under the twenty-one grams. Yeah. So I mean, is. that's not too bad. So we actually got a couple starters, two starters, Squirtle yeah. and Bulbasaur. We got the uh, Pikachu. So now, obviously, I didn't pay um, like eleven thousand dollars for this pack, but no. And I think you got it as a really good deal as a light pack. Maybe yep. a long time ago when the market was very soft. Yeah, I, like I think at that price, bucks or yeah, somewhere around there. So if we look at it roughly, we probably are close to um, our value. Probably not. I, I too... mean, if you sell the cards raw. Right now, you'll make your money back and then some. Yep. If you get them graded and they come back nines, like the Pikachu, Yellow Cheeks Pikachu is a thousand dollar card at a nine. I actually just sold one. Um, I let it sold at auction for like eight something. And then we have an Nidoran. Ooh, a Kadabra is actually really nice. And the reason why Kadabra is really nice is because Abra and Alakazam they print, but they had to stop printing the full evolution because they had yep. an issue with Kadabra. So you'll never see another Kadabra card ever again in Pokemon. Nope, that's unfortunate. Yeah. But you will see Alakazam, it's coming back. It's uh, getting a V card, by the way. Oh, wow, nice. I saw uh, Neon Cactus, shout out to Neon Cactus for getting 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Nice. I'm happy for that guy. There you go. This is the Nidorino. Wow, it's, it's amazing to see these first edition stamps. It's just, the card itself is so beautiful. It's the, I like the light tones. It just pops different. The shadowless know. borders. Yeah, like, it just really, it's it's what started it all. And I mean, you crushed it on this pack, dude. I think so, yeah. It started out with the with, the, with a couple of the big bangers. I and... think Charmander as a, like a nine is like still 1500, which is the pack value. Yeah. So I mean, so, anything but... after that. I wish I had pulled him, then I would have gotten all three starters. Oh, I'm sorry, I meant Squirtle. Ah. The Squirtle is 15, sorry. Great. I think Charmander's close to uh, 17. Nice. So, so, as you can see, depending on the pack and the cards that you get, it's it's a risk you have to think about when you're doing it. And, you know, for the value that I got this pack at, it makes sense to open and grade some of the the uh, cards because uh, their value that? will be you know much greater than or hopefully equivalent to if not greater than the pack this, price so this drill has an outside shot of the 10 yep it looks pretty clean looks pretty clean it's the centering is off a little bit but if this card gets a 10 for instance it's still a couple thousand bucks because yeah. people want to complete the sets with the first edition mark on it but most of these cards, though, as you can see, are all automatically going to get nines just because the centering mm -hmm. on them. There's a lot shifted. of centering issues. And that's a risk you're willing to that. take. And, you know, it, it, it's 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 definitely tough. I mean, it's hard to put prices on these cards because it, it's so hard to get. I mean, here we would say it would probably be the three yeah. ones that you, like, if you got in a pack you're you're doing pretty good yeah just looking at those i mean again i'll have them on screen this is i haven't done the research yet so the prices you see are their correct prices this is me in the past talking you about watch and talking about it when we last looked at i these believe prices. this is roughly around 15 this is roughly around like 12 
and that's about a thousand bucks. So I mean, right off the bat, that should be over three thousand dollars worth of cards Hopefully. that you get in nines. And plus throwing this else. rare bead drill, yeah, which could be a couple grand if it comes back at ten. So you're looking at potentially five k just in cards right there. So hey, that was kind of worth it. Yeah, I was surprised. And when you only paid fifteen hundred bucks for this pack now, and obviously you couldn't resell this pack. Yeah, because you knew it was light. That's not fair for the buyer. So you would have to sell it as light, and who would want to buy a light pack? Well, it's a good collection piece. Again, I do use light packs as my sealed pack collection. Sure, but I guess that would be the only person that would be interested in exactly. it. Exactly. So I think you taking the chance today was well worth it. Yep. So you know, if you like to see us take chances. And we got some other chance videos coming up. Yeah, where so we take real. some. We're gonna be taking some chances on some PSA cards, and. Um, well, I think you also told me that I made the stupidest decision I've ever made. Yeah, but that's for that video. So <laughs> you guys gotta stay tuned. Ooh. Ooh. All, All right. right, thanks for tuning in, guys. Make sure you're followed, subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. And check us out. Make Ooh. sure you stay on top of things. Yeah. So until next time. Deuces. Deuces. Devs.